AEW made a huge announcement, plus we're going to talk about WrestleMania in Saudi Arabia, and we do got to talk about the unfortunate news of a WWE superstar who's been injured. It's all coming up right here on The Ango Show. Just the other day, we were talking a little bit about WWE doing an expansion with their deal with Saudi Arabia, and now there is a huge update because the Saudi General Sports Authority is looking to expand. They want a significant event from WWE there. There's a little bit more details on this. Uh, The chairman of the Saudi Arabia General Entertainment Authority recently told ESPN that the two sides are looking for an enhancement to the existing deal, with it being announced later this month, and was hoping to get a WrestleMania or Royal Rumble hosted in the country. While speaking to Ariel Helwani on the MMA Hour Wednesday, uh, he said that they are speaking with WWE about hosting WrestleMania or Royal Rumble in either 2026 or 2027. Now, keep in mind, next year's WWE uh, WrestleMania event will be taking place in Las Vegas. There has been rumors that the city of Detroit could be going and trying to place a bid. Um, Obviously, Minnesota definitely wants WrestleMania still. And the biggest thing here that a lot of people need to understand with WrestleMania is there's been rumors about WrestleMania going to London. There has been rumors about WWE maybe even bringing a WrestleMania to Australia. It's a very interesting idea for WWE, um, mainly due to the fact that WWE is continuing their global expansion. And just the other month, or honestly, maybe even three or four weeks ago, we talked about Nick Khan saying, you know, hey, they they are going to try to keep the big four pay-per-view events domestically in the United States. So it's a very interesting time period. Are they looking to do these big time events globally? Are they looking to keep the big ones in the United States and then obviously do pay-per-views elsewhere? Um, Obviously money talks and when people are bidding for a big event, that is something that they're obviously going to factor in. There has been no details already on the WWE deal uh, with Saudi Arabia. So obviously that will get announced, I think it said later this month. Um, we'll obviously keep you guys updated on that. But my, my big thing is this with WWE, WrestleMania and Royal Rumble, um, you know, those are big time events. And I think for WWE, if they're going to go really anywhere outside of the United States, I, I'm going to assume that those two are probably the biggest price tags. Like those are the two most valuable events that they have. Um, so obviously I'm curious to see what kind of money is presented with that, you know, in that type of offer. But Very interesting. WWE expanding globally. Uh, We'll see how this all goes down. With that being said, I want to turn our attention to Ivar. The injury bug in pro wrestling, man, it is spreading. Just tons and tons of wrestlers getting injured. It's obviously, at this stage of the game, just so many people are hurt. Uh, WWE made the announcement today that Ivar has been removed um, from the WWE uh, television shows. Obviously, he wasn't on NXT. He's not wrestling or anything like that. Um, he's being pulled out of action, and he's being pulled from his schedule. Uh, now, what's going to end up happening is uh, Apollo Cruz will be in the WWE Speed Tournament uh, for the number one contendership. Um, also, keep in mind that Ivar was supposed to be on Raw against Andrade in March. He was pulled because he wasn't medically cleared. Um, and then a week later, he fought Sami Zayn. So whatever's happening with Ivar, obviously, it's it's kind of lingering or, you know, maybe they didn't think it would be as bad as it is. Obviously, I feel very unfortunate. Like, it, I feel it feels very unfortunate that this is happening to Ivar because, obviously, when you look at the Viking Raiders, Eric's been out with an injury. Um, and you got to factor in, like, this guy was just given a chance to show what he could do as a singles guy, and he's actually been killing it, Right. This is another talent who's been injured. And and look, I know people are going to sit there and talk about this stuff and just try to be super negative when it comes to injuries, but it's no secret. I talk about it all the time, health before wealth, um, which is why it sucks that so many people across all these companies are getting hurt. Keep in mind, WWE pulled Bobby Lashley and Zelina Vega off of TV because of injury. Um, and that's, you know, for the king and queen of the ring tournament. So This is just constantly impacting these companies. It's really important that at a time where there's injuries, people are stepping up to the plate. Ivar has obviously been involved in NXT. He's been involved on WWE Raw. He's part of that class of like really good mid-card to upper mid-card people on Raw. So uh, it just, it sucks. It's unfortunate. And I don't know what it's going to take to stop these injuries. Obviously, freak accidents happen. Um, There's just 
yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's the way to prevent it. I don't have the answers for this, but it just sucks to see this go down the way it is. Um, hopefully he comes back good, ready to go. Uh, you know, we'll see what happens with Eric as well. Obviously, Ivar has been killing it as a singles talent. If, you know, if that's where they need him, I'm totally cool with it. I would have actually been really happy to see him, you know, be intercontinental champion. So who knows, man? Who knows? Maybe WWE repackages him when he comes back. We'll, we'll see how it all goes down. I want to turn our attention to Tony Khan and AEW's big announcement because this one is actually an announcement that I fully support. I'm just going to be completely honest with you guys. I think this is an announcement that it makes a lot of sense for Tony Khan. Um, and most specifically, I think it makes a lot of sense for AEW. It's pretty significant. So let's talk about it. Um, so basically, AEW is doing this thing where their shows, uh, Collision and ROH, are basically going to be taking place in Arlington, Texas. And the idea for this is that this is going to be a historic partnership. Um, basically, what he says is, we are thrilled to partner with the city of Arlington for AEW's first ever event at Esports Stadium. This AEW Summer Series will add to the rich legacy of major professional wrestling events held in the great state of Texas and serve as the ultimate springboard for AEW All In London. Um, he goes on to say that this partnership would not have been possible without the tireless support of Matt Wilson, Justin Grimsley, the Arlington Sports Commission, and the city of Arlington, and of course, our incredibly passionate fan base throughout Texas. So basically, what's going to be happening is that they're going to have multiple events, July 20th, July 26th, July 27th, August 1st, August 10th, and August 17th. Those are all going to be Collision or Ring of Honor. Those shows, um, they're taking place from the same arena. And this is less seating than normal, um, but I think it's actually a good thing. I think like I think a lot of people. The reason why I think this is a good announcement is because I think it's going to be AEW testing out the smaller venues for a television show. Because let's just face it, the way it is is that they're selling four thousand, five thousand tickets, but they are selling them in a arena where there's just a lot of empty chairs, um, and that that is kind of you know kind of bothersome to be honest with you because I feel like right now they've been doing a pretty damn good job with their product this year not perfect by any means but I, I don't feel like they they warrant to sell very little in terms of ticket sales so this I think is a test I think this is a great thing for relationship building obviously with the city of Arlington but also to collision is a different show from dynamite so this could potentially help collision kind of have its own image in a way um, but yeah, pretty significant, man. This I feel like this is the first deal that they've had where they partnered up with the city to bring multiple events, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Now, what is the turnout? What's the ticket sales? Obviously, we'll talk about it when the time comes.